So we're taking off obviously from uh, runway 28 at Alicante today and we would say after pushback uh, we'll be expecting to uh, exit the apron and then taxiing down uh, Delta uh, to via Charlie 6 and then to uh, enter the runway via Charlie 7 or, or Charlie 8. Um, that takes us on to the um, departure itself, uh, basically it gives us a good pictorial of the terrain in the area and we're going to do the uh, Astro 3 Delta which basically will take us straight ahead and then back on this routing and you can see the salient point here is we've got high ground right in front of us and we'll see later that if we do lose an engine then obviously the emergency turn will take us away from that ground and will bring us back to the south away from the terrain, so the big issue is terrain today. So uh, once lined up on the uh, runway, expecting a flat 5 departure, accelerating down the runway. Uh, if we get a beep, 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 then obviously it's a configuration warning, and so I'll reject the takeoff. If we get a beep, beep, beep in the air, and we're above 10,000 feet, then we assume it's a cabin altitude warning. Yeah. So standard emergency drills, uh, donning the oxygen mass, 100%, establishing communication, and going through the necessary recall items. If we uh, do lose an engine, then the main thing is keep the aircraft tracking straight, slightly slower rotation than normal, door call positive rate, uh, take the gear up and we'll climb straight ahead. No further uh, actions until 400 feet, at which point we'll come together, we'll identify the problem and we'll do any memory re uh, items as required. But there is an emergency turn today and this is all going to happen very quickly, so it may be that we'll follow the emergency turn initially and then we'll look at the uh, memory items. Take it nice and easy because that's when the tail is right by the tarmac. Yeah. So positive rate, gear up, 